Hi, Mummy. Hi, everybody. Lockdown has got me going insane. So I got married um, January last year, and it's just occurred to me that I haven't dry and cleaned my dress. So it is up in the loft, probably stinking. The bottom of it's probably disgusting. Um, <laughs> so I thought, why not wash it at home? So this is a video and I'm going to take you through the whole process from getting it down off out the loft. Well, not literally because I need both hands. Um, but I'm going to show you how dirty it is. We're going to wash it together. We're going to dry it together. And then I'll show you the result. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> show you the results at the end. I'm super excited to do this. So stay tuned let's get on to the video everyone here is my wedding dress down from the loft so as you can probably see there's some stains on it i'm assuming this is from where it's been in storage all this time but the bottom of it ava thank you bottom of it is minging so we are gonna wash it together and see how it comes out okay everybody i've got my bath filling up with cold water and then i'm gonna add these excuse my writing on there but it was for ava's washing only before so because my daughter had a bit of a reaction to our washing so that's just my authority putting in there so yeah i'm just gonna wait for this to fill up Pour some of this in and we'll be on to the next bit. All right. The bath's still filling up and I just have no idea how much water to put in. But we'll get there. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave the water at this level only so my dress is quite heavy. So I don't want it to go in the bath and all the water to overflow. So I'm going to go get my dress. So here's my dress. I'm kind of nervous. I suppose I'm just gonna dunk it in. Sorry about the lighting, I don't know why it's flickering. I'm ready then. Oh, oh my God. I could do with like a hook thing here. You could probably see how dirty it is now it's in here. Right, in it goes. Oh my God. going I'm just gonna try not to get the back in um, just because I got some buttons and a zip on there so I'll try and leave the back out if I can or the top part of it oh my god I am gonna be really excited how dirty this water is after we've finished but on good old Google it does recommend soaking it for a while so yeah, I don't think the kids are having a bath tonight. <laughs> oh, it might, I might need some more water. Or I might be all right, I don't know. Quite yet. Right, you need to stay out. I bet anybody watching this from a bridal shop or Anybody that does dry cleaning and probably hates me right now. <laughs> but you never know until you try stuff. So I've got leaves and all sort of like parts of the wood stuck in my dress. Not that I got married in the wood, but I got married at Manor by the Lake in Chapman. And they have this gorgeous wooded area that we had some great photos with. So, yeah, so I've got half the contents of their wood in the bottom of my dress I had to pick out. So. Right, so I think that's pretty much absorbed most of that water. But I need it to get where the stains were. Make it all bubbly. E -e -e -e. I love some bubbles. Right, so. I 
think I'm gonna leave it like that now. Leave it to soak. And uh, I'll be back with the results. Ah, wish me luck. Right, okay everyone, it's been approximately 20, 25 minutes since I put it in and the water is disgusting. I don't know if you can see how brown this water is. It is gross. But I'm gonna do another squeeze with the dress and I'm probably gonna get it out because actually rereading Google said you're only gonna soak it for like up to 30 minutes. So it's a good job I double checked. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it a good squeeze. We'll get it out, see how it is. Obviously, I'm probably gonna make a lot of mess, so I won't video that bit. Um, and I'll come back with the results after. So I'm just gonna give it another good squeeze, especially at the bottom, because the bottom is really filthy. And I think when it's dry, I'm just gonna pick all the little bits of, maybe I'll just do it now. Maybe when it's dry, I don't know. Depends how long it's going to take me, I suppose. But it is looking slightly cleaner. I've got to admit, like, the bottom is looking cleaner than what it did when it went in. So I will just finish this bit off and I'll get back to you with the results of it, I suppose, before we hang it out to dry. Okay, guys, it's all nice and rinsed. Oh my god, that was like I haven't a gym workout. So I'm going to. Wrap it up in a bit of a towel so I don't make a mess going down the stairs and I'm just going to pop it in my garden for a bit just to naturally dry and yeah, see how it turns out. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed so far. I still need to get a few twigs out and uh, the bush, you know, but we'll see. All right. It's in a towel. Off we go. Ha. Okay, so we're out in the garden and I've put my dress on the line. So guys, here's my dress after it's been washed. The stains have gone. The bottom of it is so much cleaner than it was. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect. But I think if I'd have soaked it for a little bit longer, it would have been even better. So a big thumbs up from me, guys. Please don't waste your money taking your dress to the dry cleaner. Save some pennies and do it at home. Okay guys, so after all that hard work, I've decided that I actually want to try my dress on again for one last time. So here it is. Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, this dress is a little bit too tight now, but bearing in mind I have had another baby since I got married but the results are amazing mm, now what to do with it oh thanks guys bye